Hi Team Supercharged. I'm posting this video today to help you guys with expanding your network. Expanding your network is one of the vital behaviors that you need to do in order to succeed in Beachbody. Even if you start with 5,000 Facebook friends, you're going to run out of people to invite to your challenge groups and to coaching and to your free groups if you never expand. So the fact that you are adding friends every day is so, so important because not only are you building relationships, but you're building potential clients. So if you're not doing this, this is one thing you can start today that will help improve your business. There are lots of different ways that you can expand your network. I personally focus heavily on this because when I first started coaching, I lived in a city with not many friends, I was inactive on Facebook, and I especially did not want to target my family and friends as my clients. So my goal was to reach out to as many other people as I could so that I didn't have to resort to family and friends or to doing something crazy in Albany where I knew no one just to try and find people. So I do this often. I try and become an expert at it and I try and do it every single day or I do do it every single day because I've seen so many benefits. And there are lots of different ways you can do this. There, I can look, think of like 10 different ways that you can expand your network, but for this video, I'm going to review just two ways and these are the two ways that I do it every single day and that is Facebook friends and Instagram. So I'm going to share my screen right now, and you guys will be able to see exactly what I do every single day to expand my network. And I take 10 minutes or less every single morning so at doing these activities. This video will not be 10 minutes, but it, you'll just get to see the exact steps that I follow. So number one, Facebook friends. What I do is I go to the search bar, and you'll actually see what just popped up, some of my recent search results. I search for women under 40 who like a certain topic. This can be anything. I try and steer clear of who like fitness, who like dieting, who like healthy recipes, because those people are either already coaches or friends with coaches. So I try and tweak it a little bit more and say, Women, or sorry, it works better if you do woman, woman not women, under 40 who like um, Biggest Loser or Lululemon, right? Sometimes no results will pop up. Other times lots of results will pop up. So Lululemon, all of these people like Lululemon. Initially, you'll see I'm already friends with some people that like Lululemon. Then there's people that I'm not friends with. So there's a few things you need to look out for here. The first one is beach body coaches, right? So this girl, Katie Hefner, is an elite coach. And I do, you do not want to just go through and add, 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 add five people because you'd add coaches. So make sure that the person that you're going to add is not a coach. Sometimes, or all the time, that will entail you going to their page. So if they say that they're a Beachbody coach right here, obviously skip them. We'll go to the next person. Um, Becca, she works at this place. I'm going to open in a new tab and just take a quick peek. She lives in Boston, so that's great. When I reach out to her, we can have something to talk about. I'm scrolling her page. She does not look like she is a fitness coach. Add. Go through, next person. We have one mutual friend, so that's good. The second thing you wanna look out for is mutual friends. If you have, I'd say, 10 or fewer mutual friends and none of them are coaches, go for it. So this is just one mutual friend. I'm going to check to see if they're already a coach or if they're into Advocare, because I don't wanna do anything like that. Okay, Soul Cycle. I love Soul Cycle. So when when she friend when she accepts my request, hopefully she does. I'm totally messaging her about Soul Cycle. So let's just scroll through. I don't see Advocare. I don't see Beachbody. We're gonna go ahead and add. 
this girl right here could potentially be a coach, right? Based on what I've seen so far. So that's what you want to do. Go through and look for people that are not coaches and that you have 10 or fewer mutual friends and those mutual friends, none of them are coaches, okay? And just to give you another idea, you can do like man under 40 who likes triathlons, if I could spell. Um, women under four, I just do under 40, you can even do under 30 or in college or women in Boston that like Biggest Loser, man in Tennessee that likes running, um, anything like that, you guys. Just pick something that you enjoy and the, uh, or that likes soul cycle, right? So anything that pertains to you that if when they accept your request, you can then message them and say, hey, I saw that you accepted my friend request. I noticed that we had some mutual interests, and so I figured, why not? I love Soul Cycle, and I just saw your recent post. Are you an instructor? Something simple like that. Or I saw you posted a healthy recipe. Are you gluten free or are you paleo or what, what is the recipe? Can you send me the recipe? So some action like that, that they need to answer a question or do something. So that's Facebook, okay? Really simple, literally five minutes or less to add the friends and then when they accept you, send a quick message. Next is Instagram. So there are a couple important things with Instagram. You need to differentiate between hashtags that you use as a coach and hashtags that your potential client will use. I have a complete document called Succeed with Instagram in the Team Supercharged Files tab. This document is my gold. Whenever I'm like, oh, nothing's working on Instagram, I go back to that. It tells you everything I do from how I, how I approach new contacts, how I invite people, who I invite, what I say, all of that. So read that document for the full lowdown. This is just about adding contacts to your network. So wh what I do is I search for hashtags. When you guys are posting on Instagram, you're probably using hashtags like, hopefully you're using hashtags like tips for weight loss, um, gluten-free recipe, healthy recipes, something specific that your potential client would search for. A potential client will search for tips for weight loss or tips on how to lose weight or gluten-free recipes, and then your post will show up. But you want to search for your potential client, and you have to think, what will your potential client use in their photos? They won't use tips for weight loss because they're trying to lose weight. So they will probably use my fitness journey or college fitness or mommy on a mission. So whatever your target market is, it'll be different. But think about what they will use. And for this example, I am on um, the computer. So this is going to look a little bit different than it is on your phone. But I'm using hashtag my fitness journey 2015. And what I do is I see what the posts are. So right away, I see this heart rate monitor. So I want to click on that. And I'm like, holy crap, that is a ton of calories. I'm going to like it and say, holy crap, girl. That is an insane burn. Way to go. So you want to be genuine. One of, the, one of my tips is that you want to passionately comment. You want someone, when they read your comment, you want them to be like, whoa, thanks, or that's really cool, I'm gonna check out her page, or she's like the sweetest person ever, who is she? So you really want to make it personal, okay? Don't copy and paste on Instagram. You can tell when people do that, and you're not going to get a response. So this is one example. Um, oh, sorry. So I post there, then I go to their page. And I go to their page because again, I want to see if they are already a coach. If they look like a coach, I will go back to my previous page and search for someone else. If they don't look like a coach, I build that relationship through comments. So let's see, they posted a more recent one that looks like they're making a smoothie, I'll just like it. Another, 
heart rate monitor. I could comment, what a cool or awesome burn again. What heart rate monitor is that? Um, you know, just building, building that relationship. Um, how many mistakes you make or how slow pr you progress, you still, you, know that. <laughs> you are still way ahead of everyone else who isn't trying. Love it. So I'm going to like it and say, this is so inspiring. I seriously love your posts. And then from here, I have a, a, I guess, paragraph that I comment that I, this is something that I do copy and paste. So I say something personal up front, and then I don't have it copied right now, so, so I'm going to type it out with you. Would you be interested in joining my Facebook fitness group? It's a group of small women. I'm sorry. It's a group of women that are also focusing on striving to reach their fitness goals. We share healthy recipes, motivational photos, like this one, uh, workout ideas, and also host mini challenges. We just finished a no junk food challenge and a seven day plank challenge. It's a lot of fun. What do you think? Okay, and so that's something I copy um, and paste. So when you don't type it out like that every time, super quick to do this, guys. Um, and then I just tag them so that they make sure that they see it. So that one is kind of long, but usually with something like that, they see it's free, they see that you do mini challenges, which tons of people like, and they'll usually respond, sure, why not, how can I join, or just sure. And then I have another thing I copy and paste and say, great, here's the link to the group, or send me a friend request at www.com slash facebook.com slash, and then my page, samantha.holly98, my personal page. So that is what I do. The reason some days I do come to these pages and like this, she's pretty awesome. She's posting motivational stuff. She posts her workout pictures, healthy food. So right away I could say, have you ever thought about fitness coaching or do you want to join my challenge group? But my success rate with that is like 1%. Okay, like very, very small. My success rate with saying, do you want to join my free group? And then them adding me as a friend, or I'll add them once they ask to join the group. And then I build that relationship. I talk to them. I say, what are your fitness goals? And I'll just kind of stalk them a little bit on Facebook. And then I flip the switch maybe a few days or a week or a month later and say, your posts are seriously awesome. Have you ever considered coaching? Doing it that way, they're like, hmm, maybe I should consider it. It sounds cool. Give me more information compared to, oh, my God, who is this girl and why is she posting on my page? By that time, you have a relationship. So it's not awkward when you ask, do you want to join my group or have you considered coaching? So this Instagram, it's super quick to do. Again, I'll just go through and show you how quick it is. And again, on your phone, it's even quicker. So we'll do one more person. Um, Pilox, that's like Pilates and something else. I don't even, oh, and kickboxing, super cool. So I'll just say, awesome. Great job, Dark Freya. <laughs> Go to their page. Uh, she's a Piloxing instructor, super cool. Treasure every moment. All right, so it doesn't say she's a coach, but she does have a Facebook page, which makes me think she may be a coach and trying to drive people to her page. So I'm going to go down. I don't see anything, so it can't hurt to send something, right? Okay, so here, I find out she's writing in Chinese or Japanese. Not my potential client. It's totally fine to like it. But right now, we are not a global company, and so it's pointless to try and expand your network in that way. 
But again, that's something that, okay, this is funny. Um, so, stop, you working out or not? That's funny, so I'll say, ha, 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 this is great. Send, and then go to her page. Wife, Zumba instructor, just want to get fit. Great, looks good. I'll like this photo. I'll probably like about four photos. And sure, this is funny too, right? <laughs> so I'll go back to this one. And I did not copy and paste that. But what I'll do here is say, so she said post workout selfie and I'm feeling good. Awesome job, girl. What did you do for a workout? Then I'll go into exactly, I'm going to go back and copy and paste it, but I won't waste your time. And I'll say, would you like to join my free fitness group? It's this, we do this, this is what you can expect, what do you think? Okay, and so that is all I do. It takes 10 minutes or less. When I showed you here, it takes a little bit longer because I'm on a computer versus my phone, but it's super, super simple, guys. I do five people on Facebook and five people on Instagram. And even if those five people don't accept your friend request or don't respond to you, if you're doing this every single day, seven days a week, then you will get people that respond to you and that love your stuff and that will be an amazing client, an amazing coach. But if you're not doing this every day, you're basically putting it up to chance that when you do find time to do this, you're expecting people to love it and respond to you. And then when they don't, you're going to get discouraged. But when this becomes a habit in 10 minutes or less every day, then when people say no or just don't see your stuff, it's whatever. Tomorrow you're going to do the same thing. Tomorrow you're going to find better people. The next day you're going to find even better people. And it builds. So think of like five people even, just five people, because you don't need to do 10 a day. That is kind of a lot. So five people every day for seven days. That's 35 people. Even if one person each day accepts your friend request and joins your free group, that's five people, seven people that are new clients. Seven people times four is 28 people in a month. That's pretty awesome, okay? So you need to prioritize this, especially because it's one of the tasks that takes like zero time. And so it is important. I hope this helps you guys. And again, just remember the basics. Go to their page. Find something similar. Find something that you can relate to. I don't have any kids, so I'm not going to relate to someone that's a new mom or that has kids already that are in their teens. So focus on what you do, what you love, and share that with other people. Lots of different ways to expand your network. Again, this focuses on just those two, so Facebook friends and Instagram. If you have any questions on what I covered or other ways that will work better for you to expand your network, feel free to reach out to me. And again, reach out to the files tab to review the Instagram document if you're on Instagram. That will change your business, I promise. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great night. Bye.